general physical examination of pediatric patients we will begin the basic principles of pediatric general physical examination but first you must follow the points that have been discussed in the previous video about the basic principles that must be followed before the start like introduction consent greeting and etc then we will in do the inspection uh, in inspection we will look at the posture of the patient in general posture any intervention any cannula any consciousness status uh, is, uh, is he responsive and his behavior is he irritated his well being whether he is well looking sick or toxic whether what is his color cyanose pale jaundice red whatever and any apparent dysmorphic features number 2 after inspection we will do the anthropometric measures anthropometry is the difference between pediatric and adult Uh, uh general physical examination in which we, there is height weight head circumference mid upper arm circumference then we'll check vitals which is pulse in pulse we will check radio pulse and its rate rhythm character volume and it is the delay radio radio delay radio femoral delay radio bagel delay we'll do the blood pressure respiratory rate and the temperature and the capillary perfusion um, time which is almost 2 second normally then we will start the general examination in general examination we always start from the right arm to head to feet and always compare the pairs then from right arm to head to feet and compare all the pairs now we will start with the nails and nails check for clubbing coelonychia leukonychia and pitted nails number 2 check for any splinter hemorrhages or any peripheral cyanosis number 3 and check for uh, capillary refill time capillary perfusion time now number 2 we will do the uh, check the palms and check the fingertips for osseous nodes and palms for genuvians and also uh, for muscle uh, wasting of thinaro hypothenar muscles and the creases we will see pallor or hyperpigmentation we will also check for palmar erythema then uh, we will check wrist whether uh, wide, whether it is wide check with check the pulse check the tendons and thoma and in the elbow in the cubital fossa we will check for we will check for epitrochial lymph nodes number 5 we will check for bp and number 6 we will check for axilla for axillary lymph nodes uh, okay then now in the head we will check for the sutures and the anterior fontanelle if it is open or closed or what is the shape what is the size of the fontanelle whether it is flat tense bulging or depressed then we will check the shape of the head whether it is big small or whether the occiput is flat then we will check for the uh, uh, any boils or injuries then he'll check for hair whether it is alopecia hair what check the hair color uh, check for pluckability of hair hair line hair texture then go to eyes and check for uh, epicanthal folds in as in down syndrome mm, upward slanting of eyes uh, of the palpebral fissure as in down syndrome and check for ptosis proptosis check for jaundice in the bulbo conjunctiva check for anemia in the palpebral conjunctiva conjunctiva subconjunctival hemorrhage and check for brush field spots as in down syndrome buttered spots in vitamin a deficiency cataract and also check for mm, hyper or hypotelorism then in the nose check for uh, check the nasal bridge whether it is flat check for alanesia whether they are used uh, flaring whether check for sinus at the nasal tip and check for uh, inside of the nose through torch for septum discharge of boils then ears check for whether they are low set whether there is abnormal skin tag whether there is abnormal morphology of the ears whether there is sinus at the lobule lobes ear lobes whether there are boils or discharge then go to the mouth in the mouth we will check for lips for any small stomatitis cyanosis dryness any ulcer then we go to the tongue for to check for fasciculations glossitis below the tongue for cyanosis not cyanosis actually anemia and or jaundice and mucus for aphthous ulcer then check for dental hygiene and also for uh, uh, check the soft palate for any pallor uh, and uvula if whether it is central or whether there is inflammation check then throat inside as tonsils whether inflamed red or there is pus or a membrane check the posterior membrane of the throat and check for any post nasal drip then check the neck and check uh, for goiter if you see then test for goiter and check whether the swelling is central or lateral and whether it is a thyroglossal cyst then test for it then check trachea with three finger method check for lymph nodes in which there uh, from the back you will check for submental submandibular preauricular anterior cervical lymph nodes and supraclavicular lymph nodes and from the front you will check for uh, uh, posterior auricular occipital and posterior cervical lymph nodes then check for carotid artery or jugular vein if there is any anomaly then we will go to the chest and in the chest 
uh, check for the nipple site whether they should be uh, at the mid clavicular area whether they are widely spaced apart and check for the uh, check for the shape of the chest and, ch and take take the respiratory rate and whether it is and check the type of respiration abdominal or um, whether it is abdominal thoracic or thoracic abdomen check the abdomen for its shape whether it's scaphoid protuberant flat and any scar or pigmentation or stria or veins check the umbilicus for its site whether it is central and its appearance what is inverted everted slit like and any palpable lymph nodes around the umbilicus which is not normally seen or palpated uh, and not usually seen then check the genitalia in the genitalia genitalia check for inguinal lymph nodes and check for any hydrocele or inguinal hernia by cuff reflex check for and uh, rate the sexual maturation of that child then uh, check the at the shin area check for edema on the prom bony prominence of tibia and it is done after feed in feet, check for first period edema on the bony prominence of medial malleolus and if it is positive then check on the shin and also check for any skin cysts on the sole or any, and any anomaly in the toes and also check for sacral edema and in the end you will redress the patient and say thank you. Now we will use this child to show a little bit of demonstration. The child is lying, he is well and he is well oriented, he looks well right. He looks, uh, there are no dysmorphic. He's not silent. Look at the nails. No clubbing, colon, or capitated nails or anything. No test for clubbing. You have to do the test for clubbing. Look at the palms. No slow nodes, no genuineness. Then look at the wrist. Wide or not. Then palpate. And in case of palpation, you have to uh, check on the medial side of the upper uh, of the cubital fossa. Up above the cubital fossa a little bit to palpate the petrochlear then you will use and uh, palpate the axillary lymph nodes uh, uh, and uh, you will palpate all the five groups of axillary lymph nodes and the posterior uh, axil uh, apical medial lateral and posterior on both sides because there is a pair and you will compare then look at the head what is the shape of head it is a flat occiput and it is a uh, not upstanding guys normal but the ears are low set so it should almost low set not really low set septum is normal there are there is no abnormality in the mouth so the tongue is normal the palates are normal and the uvula is normal throat is normal i think then we use the torch to see the ears outside of the ears are normal we also use a torch to see the tongues. Then, and then we check the trachea with three finger method. And we, if there is a, the same, we will ask him to swallow. And if it is positive and it moves with swelling, then we will ask him to protrude his tongue. Open his mouth and protrude his tongue. And if or, and if it becomes more apparent than protrusion, then it is a third level cyst. Then we will do the lymph nodes. And the lymph nodes will be. Uh, from the f uh, from the back of the baby, we will do the submandibular uh, with the three fingers, submandibular, submandibular, and anterior cervical, supraclavicular, and uh, from the back and from the front we will do these posterior auricular, suboccipital, and we will also do the posterior cervical, and uh, from the back uh, there is also one that we have to do anterior cervical. Okay. Now we will go down and we look at the chest and the nipples and the shape of the chest, respiratory rate and abdomen which is, uh, and we will look at abdomen, it is not protuberant, there are no scar marks and uh, blackness is central and uh, inverted and we will look at the genitalia and, the, and we will rate the sexual maturation of the baby and uh, 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 also we will see the uh, evaluate the inguinal lymph nodes, both the groups and we will also see uh, uh, we will also go to the shin and first we will check for pedal edema in pedal edema we will check at the malleolus we will uh, we will uh, uh, put our thumbs force our thumbs put apply pressure on the medium malleolus and check and see if there is any pitting then we will, if there is positive then we will check on the shin and if it uh, and with pressure and if it is positive then we will ask him the baby to sit up and we will apply sacral pressure to check for sacral edema. 
in case of and when we will take the pulse we have to also check for rate rhythm character in case of pulse we also have to take the pulse with the three finger method and we will take the rate rhythm character volume of the pulse and we will also check for delays in radio radial delay with the other one and we can also check for radio femoral delay with this one this is mostly what we will do and we each area which you are covering you can undress that area and then where you have take and done that area you can redress that area and go to the next area to undress that area and when you have done this redress it then go here then go here and then go here thank you